Hello, hello. Welcome to Inklings, the weekly energy show connecting you to your intuitive guidance system. And today we're talking all about how to do less and accomplish more. This is a fun topic that has been around for quite some time and one that was very much present in the yoga world as I was there. And I want to share with you the tips that I've gathered over the years, what I'm sharing with my clients this week as they are finding that they are caught in the midst of a lot to do. If we haven't met yet, my name is Irene. Rena Miller. I'm an intuitive energy guide and speaker, and I have been working with women for over 20 years in connecting them with ways of utilizing their time to the fullest, of maintaining their energy levels, and not running out of steam before they really have the chance to do what they came here to accomplish to accomplish to this life. So let's jump in. I want to start with what this is not about because a lot of people talk about trying to do less and accomplish more. Now this is not about trying to squeeze a long to-do list into four hours. It's not about hiring a huge team of helpers to try to delegate the work. And it's not about, um, what was the other thing I want to say? It's not about requiring you to read another book or buy another course. <laughs> Only if you want to. Um, but what this is really about let me share it first in a story because I have a client who I've been working with. She's an amazing, adventurous traveler. She just took a great leap of faith and she is transitioning her business from being a wonderful behind the scenes integrator into stepping into the spotlight and building her own her own presence online as the creator. And she's got a lot of ideas coming to her. She's a visionary entrepreneur and she's ready to take the world by storm. She's got some incredible ideas that are coming through, but life is busy. She has a small child. She is also in the midst of buying a home and renovating it. And she just moved across the ocean, literally. Um, but she is managing everything with such grace because she's applying this very special triple T system that I call it, that I'm going to share with you today. This has enabled her to get so much more done in less amount of time. So she found that as she's ready to launch her podcast. She's not scrambling about what do I talk about? What am I going to write for this blog? But she does these three steps and she shared with me that just this past weekend she did it and she wrote three blog posts in one night. She got her idea for a podcast. She came, she was at her new home renovating and, and she drove back to the place where they were staying. And not only did she do all that work at the place they were renovating her new home, but when she got to the place where they were staying, she recorded two more videos. <laughs> and this all comes from like five to 10 minutes of a stepping away. So let's talk about the first T. The first T is time out. I call this time out because if you can simply carve out five minutes in a day to step away from the noise. Kind of like that old Calgon commercial, take me away, the bubble bath. Take five minutes for yourself, whether it's sitting in a dark closet, it's coming outside into the backyard. For my client, it, she lives near the ocean, so it was sitting and listening to the sounds of the waves, but it was taking that time out to step away from the noise and to unplug from everything that was demanding her attention. The second thing is to tune in. When we take that moment to step away, a lot of things that people don't like about meditation is that the mind keeps racing. It's hard to stop and think of nothing. Well, number one, meditation is definitely not meant to empty your mind or think of nothing. That would be harmful. Rather, meditation is to help you be really in the moment, fully present and aware. If you're someone who has meditation in your practice, let me know in the comments below. It's always fun to know who's able to incorporate a practice Practice. But the five minutes away, that's just simply you stepping aside. Don't think of it as a practice or you've got to meditate or have a mantra or a focal point just yet. Just step away for five minutes. The tuning in part is something to give your mind to relax so that you're not constantly racing with thoughts. The thoughts will come up, sure, but it's like an anchor. You know, um, a dancer who spins as she pirouettes around the room, she'll spin, but she always has her spot. You know, she'll turn, but she'll look, she's got her spot and she'll turn. But even though her body's turning, her eyes are always glued to that one spot. This tuning in is a bit like that. When you pause, listen for a 
a pleasing or a calming sound. Like right now I'm outside and I could turn it, tune in to the bird song. Um, inside, sometimes it's just the sound of the air coming out of the vent, or maybe it's cars rushing by, or water, like my client who lives near the waves. So in that situation, what you can do is you can offer yourself the opportunity to relax and just simply listen to the sound. That calms the mind and it allows you to become more receptive for all these intuitive ideas that are coming in. And maybe you've even had some ideas, but you're wondering, how do I implement this? How do I put it into play? So. You know, what I did before coming on to do this live was I took time. I sat and I said, okay, how can I best express my system in a way that will be easy to take away for people to understand? And that's how those three T's came to be. The time out, the tune in, find noise that's just pleasing, that you can listen to. It's like a spot, something to keep you anchored and present in the moment. And then finally, after those five minutes are up, take notes <clears throat> capture those ideas right away because they have a tendency ideas to be very fleeting you have a good idea and then you're like oh no what what was that idea because essentially what you're doing is you're taking some time and space to connect to your spirit to connect to universal energy and to say okay dear god you know please help me you know which direction do i go in um there's a wonderful prayer that i like to say at the beginning of the day may god go before me and show me the way may angels protect me throughout the day um and that's just a simple one to really set the tone for the day saying okay god here i am i'm ready to be an instrument of peace how how and where should i show up what ideas are coming in? Which one should I pay attention to? How do I take action on them in order to move forward towards these big dreams and goals? So if you have big dreams and goals, um, know that I love, love, love to help help everyone along that journey. And if you're looking for some more tips and, and tricks to utilize everything that's around you to tune into essentially the ideas, how to maintain your energy so you don't feel drained at the end of the day, make sure you click the link. I've got lots of fun things my energy bot can connect you with and even in my group. So thank you, thank you for joining me live and I will catch y'all on the flip side. Bye guys.